sign that was there in in my front yard in the right way obviously what what logistically would, you, would make somebody not move that all the way down a quarter mile on the road to where mr powell has a complaint there's two there's two other intersections there's veronica, uh, veronica and scott <clears throat> wouldn't you want a no outlet sign um road closed ahead at the end of the road where there's a problem. Leave the one no. up that was existing there. But so now we've got two signs. I have a sign that's 25 feet from the driveway. When my father-in-law pulls out of that driveway, it's it's now impeding his vision. Was there any sight vision studies done or anything that would make somebody put a sign 25 feet apart from each other? It's the same sign basically. So you're saying there's a sign in your yard and it, on Gilmore. On Gilmore. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there was the existing sign that had a road closed ahead, and then a no truck uh, limit, no deliveries or whatever back there. They put an additional sign, 25 feet in front of it, with road closed ahead, no outlet. And they took the road closed ahead sign off of the first sign, and it's probably new. Yeah, the reason Dr. Coleman, well, the reason that sign was taken and moved up because when people would turn in or they couldn't even see that sign. When you turned in off of Philadelphia mm -hmm. Raymond Road, you couldn't even read that sign that said road closed. People well, why, wouldn't road you, was why closed. wouldn't you leave it? Come on. Why wouldn't you leave it there and put the additional sign that you well, that you bought? Because you couldn't you couldn't read that sign turning when you turn in or well, you couldn't even read the sign. I, know, I was up I was up with the road foreman. I'm trying to be polite. I am. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to be polite too. I was up with the road foreman. We looked at it yeah. and we, we went down and we drove in from the if you going up Philadelphia Road, we drove in. And you couldn't read the sign when you would come up the other way. You was you didn't even see the sign at all. Did you check the clear sight triangle if it's in within that? Yeah, well, you couldn't see inside there. We, we you, couldn't you, see you where it was. On it, where it was right on, on it. was right on close to the road. Is, 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 this, is, is this something I don't think, to I don't put think. an additional sign just to screw with the barnas? Huh? No, 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 it's what? not. No, it seems like that. I mean, why would you put the exact same sign? Well, no, because the thing when you say about take the other one out and move it back. Well, when you when you say about moving a sign, if people see right from the start that the road is closed and there's no outlet, then they're not going to continue going up at it. If you're going to put it like you say all the way down at the end or wherever, then it's a problem. I think his ask was to not put an additional sign. Was to lower the road closed ahead sign that you maybe can't see it. So now we purchased another sign. Mm -hmm. Paid the road crew to go out there and put a, a whole nother sign, pulled the whole thing. Right? I got two signs in my yard that were the same thing. It doesn't logistically make sense. Move the other sign down to where the road's closed. There's two other intersections. Why, why would you put two signs 25 feet apart? It, doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. I'll talk, we'll talk to Mr. Parrish after okay. talking about it, okay? Okay. okay? And we'll look into it for Mr. Parrish. All right, thank There's you. nothing against you, personally. All right. No. Even though you have your, you have your camera on me, I'm so ugly 